G'day guys, welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel. Today, I am joined by the illustrious Druzy of the Druzy YouTube channel, and I'm going to throw some quick-fire predictions questions at him ahead of the 2024 season. And I'm going to throw some back at you. Today. I'm doing good. Oh, that's good. That's good to hear. Yeah, so we got 10 quick-fire questions for each other. Uh, normally, like, pre-season predictions, they're all kind of like formulae, right? You go through the 18 teams, then you go through your finals. Uh, but today, we've mixed it up a little bit, and we're going to ask each other direct quick fire questions and at the end of the season we're going to revisit this and uh, if you get more than five wrong I am unsubscribing okay let's go all right Drew is you ready for the first question are you limbered up are you oiled let's go I no. <laughs> <laughs> the first one I got for you is will Jai Amos kick more or less than the 41 goals he kicked this year in 2024 so will Jai Amos improve is the question well, that's exactly how many goals he kicks. So it's just specifically, will he kick more goals than that in 24? Yes, he will. That's a good rate. I reckon he, he can kick two goals a game. He's capable of a bag of three or four as well. He's the best forward we've had since Pav. Jai Ames kicks more than 41. Jesse, will Harley Reid finish top three in the Eagles' best and fairest? Ooh. Upon first reaction to that, I kind of almost found it offensive. But <laughs> to be honest, I actually think there's actually a little bit to that. Um, I think... Especially if he plays back, because if you like look at how Harry Sheasel went last year, he won North's best and fairest. With West Coast, you know, there's there's Kelly, there's Allen, uh, maybe Duggan who might pip him. Uh, to answer your question, I'm going to say top five, not top three. Okay. Druzy, will Sam Walsh finish top three in the Brownlow medal this season? Mm, that's a tricky one. So who did we have last year? Lockie Neal up there, Dacos. God. Dacos was up there, Bond and oh, Goulden. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm forgetting someone, but Anderson was in that mix. So, yeah, Sam Walsh, full preseason under his belt. Had a great final series last year. He is probably a top five player in the comp on his day. Uh, top three in the Brownlow? <sighs> not quite. I'm going to say, yeah, top six capable. Not quite top three. Do Gold Coast have their highest ever finish? I'm going to say yes. I don't think I'll bet on them to play finals, but I do think... Well, the highest ever finish is 12th, so they just have to beat that, and I would probably bet on that happening. I think last year, bottom four was a bad end of the year. New coach, hard week. Yeah, I'll back him in and say they finish higher than 12th. Now, Drews, there's been a lot of talk about Melbourne's like off-field stuff this off-season. Uh, talk about Clayton Oliver, culture, etc., Joel Smith. Uh, I want to know, everyone else is talking shit about them at the moment. Do you think the Ds finish in the top four next year? I back the D's to finish top four. Yeah. I think they've come unlucky or they've just come into bad form at the worst time. Like a couple last two seasons, real bad finals performances. But I reckon they've underperformed. I reckon they will achieve more this year. I reckon they play in a prelim, finish top four. Jesse, will this be Luke Beveridge's last season at the Bulldogs? This is juicy. This is juicy. Um... I can't remember what his contract status is. I'm pretty is, sure this is last year, um, I think. I could be completely wrong. If that's the case, I'm going to say yes. Because I don't know what it would take to avoid probably top six. And I probably wouldn't bet on the doggies making the top six. But every time I don't bet on them to do well, they do well. So, oh, look, if you're pushing me to guess, I'll say yeah. I reckon there's going to be a new coach this time next year. Let's talk about the Adelaide Crows. Probably should have made the finals this year if not for a controversial goal review or non... Uh, no, it was a, a goal review gone wrong, as it were. Uh, I want to know, do you think the Crows will play finals in 2024? I reckon they do. I love the footy that the Crows play. It's exciting. It's physical. I reckon the Crows have what it takes to make the top eight this year. All right, Jesse. Which team from last year's top four is most likely to slip out of the top four? Who's stinking it up this year? Good question. Tough question, but it always happens. Uh, I'm not going to bet against Collingwood or Brisbane. I think they're well poised. Um, Collingwood could slip from first, but not all the way out of the four. Brisbane, I'm not going to bet against them. And then who we got? We got the D's and Port. Uh, probably the D's are the more likely of the two. I don't know if that's controversial. And I'm not just trying to buy into off-field uh, off you know, talk, but I think Melbourne's list is arguably one of the best in the comp, but... I think Port's on an upward trajectory with like the young talent they've got. So I'm going to say the Ds are more likely to slip out of the four. Drews, I want to know your thoughts on Jeremy Cameron. Will he or will he not be an All-Australian in 2024? He wasn't All-Australian in 23. Jeremy Cameron, I think, is like the most exciting player in the competition to watch when he's on. If Jeremy Cameron mm. plays 20 games this season, yes, he finishes All-Australian. Ooh, I like it. Ballsy. <laughs>
All right, this is sort of the last question flipped. But out of all the other teams that didn't finish in the top four, who is most likely to jump into the top four and get that double chance? This is actually really juicy. So the three that come to mind, uh, Carlton and GWS, first of all, made prelims and weren't far off the grand final. They both finished fifth and seventh. And then the Swans also finished eighth. And I think all three of those are capable of playing top four footy in 2024. Who's the most likely Ah, rats. This is tough. <laughs> I have to pick one of those three. That's how it works, buddy. Yeah. I will say the Swans. I don't know why. I'm just feeling that right now. The Swans probably fill me with the most confidence. Carlton probably have the most top-end potential, but also probably the most likely to not finish top four, Yeah, if that makes yeah. any sense. No, that, that makes perfect sense. They're, they're the most likely to bottle top four. <laughs> Carlton fans, I hate me, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit of a backhanded compliment. I do think they they, they, they have premiership potential, but also Oof. the lack of track record means that like yeah. I can't really back them 100% to top, make top four. Who kicks more goals this year, Nick Larkey or Oscar Allen? Nick Larkey, next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and to be honest, the more I think about it, like Larkey kicked like 18 more goals than Allen this year, <laughs> so I don't really know why. But I do think those are like an interesting comparison, both like the best key forwards, elite key forwards in my opinion, in the two most terrible sides of the comp but I think that Allen has a chance but yeah Larky's the safe bet do Geelong re-enter the top 8 or do we see them miss finals for a consecutive year have we seen them miss finals for a consecutive year like in the last two decades uh, good question I've literally just done a Geelong video so no not for a little while so 15 they missed and they missed in 2006 and I reckon they might have missed like probably like 0203 so probably in the last two decades is bang on Drews um, I'm going to probably bet against them making the eight. I think I, I do know they have injury issues last year, and in particular in their midfield where I think they're weak. Um, they could make the eight. They certainly won't make the top four, in my opinion. I'm willing to be ballsy on that one. Um, finals chance, but I'll probably 50-50 bet against it. Druzy, will Bailey Smith still be at the Western Bulldogs by the end of the trade period? You'd have to ask Bailey Smith, bro. I mean, I've got no intel oh, okay. on this. Come Sweet, on. I'll just hit him up. Do you have his email address? No, but I've got some hard pictures of him on Instagram. I back Bailey Smith to stay at the Bulldogs. Although I would wow. prefer him to be at a bigger club playing on the MCG, to be honest, because he's an absolute superstar. Yeah. Like, watching him play in person, so good. Uh, not just because he's an attractive man. I'm straight. Next question. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> <laughs> It's you. You're the next one. Ah, rats. <laughs> this one's a no-brainer for me, but will Frio win both derbies by a combined margin of 150 points? No chance. Ah. Absolutely no chance. They didn't even do that this year, and they won one of them by 100. Yeah. Slow start to the year, mate. But Yeah. Oh, yeah, please. <laughs> Who finishes higher this year? St. Kilda or Essendon? St. Kilda. Yeah. No, nah, Essendon just don't excite me, eh? Like, even Zach Merritt came out at the end of the season was just like, that was just like, you know, we gave up sort of thing. Like, that was just a classic Essendon performance. And when, like, your best player is saying that, sort of speaks volumes. I reckon, yeah, Ross Lyon, he builds. I don't think he really slows down. He'll build, 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 and then stink it up. I reckon the Saints will build. Nice. I, the reason I kind of angled that one out here is the Saints are typically one that people like to underrate from the outside or, or just kind of write off. Mm. And Essendon did also recruit four players in the trade period. So there was a bit of hype. So I wanted your opinion, but I also do agree. I think the St. Kilda footy club will finish higher. Do GWS back up another incredible season and finish in finals? Or do you think last year was an outlier? Maybe they exceeded expectations and they slip outside of the eight. No, I, I, I don't think last season was an outlier. I, I don't know if I'd bet on them, say, being like a real premiership contender. Uh, that one's possible, but not necessarily something I'm confident about. But I am very confident that they'll play finals. I think uh, I think they've gotten over that period of like getting used to the new coach. And I, you look at their midfield, man, it's still stacked with some guns that are still like Probably at the back end of their prime, like they'll be fine. I reckon they're, they'll be good this year. Drewzy, I want to know, do you think the Hawthorne Football Club, who finished third last last year but showed some good form, do they climb out of the bottom four this year? Yeah, I rate the Hawks. Let's start that again. No, no. Yeah, I rate the Hawks. I reckon they climb out of the uh, the bottom four. Big fan of what Sam Mitchell's doing there. Has some really good additions over the offseason as well. Like that forward line is looking a lot more healthy. Yeah, the Hawks, the Hawks have a good season this year. Yeah, it, it did feel like they didn't seem like a bottom three side. Um, they finished below Gold Coast, um, distantly ahead of the bottom two, but it didn't 
feel like they were the third worst team to comp, uh, at least in my impression. Who is the all Australian Rockman? Ooh. Ooh. Tough. This is juicy. I like this one. So English won it this year. Um, and some other contenders would be Rowan Marshall when I think Sean Darcy probably not far behind that. Uh, I'm going to go with Max Gorn, the player that I didn't mention at all. I think if he stays fit, he's, I think he's still the best player. He's the best of the lot. Uh, I hope he does. I hope he does. Druzy, who will be Fremantle's best and fairest this year? Oh, I'm going to have to actually put some thought into this one because I can actually think about it and come up with an answer. Mm. It was Sarong last year. And I reckon the year before that, it was Brayshaw. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I'm going to go with Hayden Young. He uh, really built into the second half of last season. Once he got into the midfield, it was like, oh my God, this kid can properly play. Like, he's played the first part of his career off half back. Getting him on ball more, using his skill, is, is a class addition to that midfield. I'm going to go Hayden Young bit different i like it i like it and uh people who play fantasy will also be very watchful of how hayden young goes this year i reckon and the last one top three in your brownlow medal Ooh, okay um i'm going to say you know what i'm i'm feeling sam walsh to be honest i think he wins i'll say tom green second from gws very high volume player just going to continually improve and then I'll, I'll, I think I've bet on Bond like every year yeah. for the last like six and it's never worked for me. So I'm going to have him third, uh, but there's a lot of other contenders in there, but if you want me to pick the top three, those are the three. All right, Drewzy, that is 10 predictions we've made. Quick fire steamroll uh, that we will absolutely hold each other to by the end of the season. It will be funny to revisit this video. Maybe I'll react to it. That'll be a good idea actually. Um, right. And I just want to say thank you very much for coming on the channel, Drews. Uh, where can people find you? Yeah, my channel's been dead for about a year. I uh, went traveling in that, but I'm back now. Content will be coming out again very soon. Hopefully moving to Melbourne soon as well. So keep an eye on the Drewsy channel, baby. Cool. I like to hear it. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye.